All right, so I guess everyone's gonna see how not Tesla savvy I am. So today we are going to a new listing over in Signal Hill, so not too far from the office. Um, check out the condition. So apparently there were some tenants, there were tenants that were living in this property for about six years or so. Uh, they just moved to another state. The sellers are currently, they're a really sweet family. I miss that. So, <laughs> um, okay, listen, listen, Tesla, just let me be. I know how to, I know how to get there. I know how to get there. Some, sometimes I should just not plug this in. All right, I'm canceling. Oh, oh, hi. Yeah, okay, so I have not seen this property, you guys. Have not seen it. Uh, haven't even met the sellers because of COVID, of course. You know, I'm actually kind of happy that I'm not seeing people um, as much because, like, like let me just like let me just show you something. This is this is really bad. I'm like, seriously, that's no. If you know me, I have nail art all the time. This year, 2020, out the window. Ay, ay, ay. That's, yep, that's life. I guess I've, I've noticed a lot of sellers um, who are kind of reserved right now. They don't know what, they don't know how to show a house if they were to sell, if they were to put their property on the market. They're, they just don't understand. They're, okay, how do we put it on the market? Um, how are we gonna show it? because there's so many restrictions to show. Um, and so you guys will see. Uh, there's specific protocol that we have to follow as real estate professionals. Um, but I mean, from the moment that a seller hires me and hires our team uh, to sell their property, uh, I mean, we get right to work. So today, again, first day of actually seeing this Signal Hill condo. It's really nice. It has a, an attached two-car garage, a nice little patio. HOA is actually um, pretty decent. I believe it's in the 300s. But um, what we'll do today is we're gonna give these sellers recommendations on what to do that's gonna get you the most return on investment. Hey, Jeffy. Oh, this is Jeffy. Hi, Jeffy. Um, what's going to get them the most return on investment. So, you know, once when I'm speaking to a seller who's uh, thinking of putting their property on the market, one of the things, one of the most important things that I will ask, especially if there's been a tenant that's been living in it, I will ask, um, have you discussed a budget? Have you discussed a budget to do some repairs, some upgrades, maybe just some touch-ups since it's been lived in uh, by tenants? And, uh, and if they say that they are, then I will go through the property and help them work out um, within their budget, uh, what are the things that they should be doing, again, that's gonna get them the most return on investment. So that's one of my favorite parts. I'm really excited about it. It is really important. I mean, number one, sorry. Number one, to call your realtor and um, and really get their advice on what is it that I need to do that's gonna get me the most return on investment. If I have a seller who tells me um, I wanna sell it as is, I absolutely not wanna do anything to it, then there you go. You don't do anything to it. We just market to the right pool of buyers um, that will pay the most for your property. By the way, I have not tested the autopilot in this car, by the way. Can I tell you that, B? Um, don't test it when I'm inside. <laughs> so there's, there's, you never know, like you never know what to expect in a property that, um, that you haven't seen, that the seller hasn't toured you through, whether it's been on camera, you know, or live. Um, and again, these sellers live in Orange County, so they actually haven't been to the property, out to the property for a bit. So they're really counting on us to... Uh, inspect the property to visually inspect it and just give them all the the suggestions right to um, to get our handy guy in there um, and get to work right away we develop a timeline once we know 
what the sellers are going to um, decide to do within their budget, if they're gonna do any repairs or any touch-ups um, or upgrades. And once we know that and we speak to contractor, handyman, whoever it is that's gonna do the job, then we can um, put together a timeline so that everyone, everyone involved knows exactly what's gonna happen, knows exactly when the property's going on the market, and, um, and then also our team has time to do a lot of pre-marketing, a lot of pre-marketing that may save sellers tons, tons in fees. So that's another whole nother video, a whole nother video. So Signal Hill is just a city neighboring Long Beach. Um, very, very close. We're literally just coming up Temple and I'm gonna make a left on PCH. Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? They're 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 trying to uh they're trying to race with the Tesla. Really? Yeah, I get that. Don't race with the Tesla. Mm -mm. Come up, Hunipero. 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 You guys know how to say that? What do people say? They say, um, so they don't say Junipero, they say Wanapero, they say Junipero, they say, um, what else have I heard? Junipero. Yeah, Junipero. I say that. You say Junipero? It's not Junipero. It's Junipero. Listen, it's really Junipero, okay? Let's get it right. We, we can call it Junipero. Junipero. Wanapero? <laughs> I used to call it Juan Apero, and then someone took my local card. They're like, you're not from Long Beach. I'm like, yes, I am. I'm totally from Long Beach. It's on the right. All right, so it's, there's three of them. It's this one over here. Yes, I have tennis shoes all the time. Heels, boots, hiking boots. I never know. I sell, I sell houses. I sell property. So, YouTube. -y. Let's go. I hear somebody. Hello? What is that? Seriously? Oh, it's because I'm supposed to close the door. All right. Where'd I put my key now? See, I was all nervous. All right, I fixed it. Kitchen, living room, garage. Yes, two car garage. Okay. I haven't seen the bathrooms yet. So what we're gonna do is I'm literally gonna just run through the whole entire house, scope it out because once I scope it out, I'll be able to um, see the whole entire property with the right lens. Remember, if I just start with one part of the house and I may be like, oh, we need to do this, 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 and this, but I don't know exactly what has already been done in other parts of the house so that it can all kind of come together in a nice marriage. All right, um, I'll run upstairs. See, so automatically, since I've seen the downstairs bathroom and I'm seeing this one, I'll see the other one here, it's two and a half bathrooms. I can already tell that one of the things that would, that always, I mean always, gets you a lot of return on investment because buyers, again, it goes to the buyer's eyes, are fixtures. So for example, here in the bathroom, some of the things that I would re recommend to do would be changing uh, a lot of the like faucets, changing this, putting a nice mirror, maybe even taking out the medicine cabinet. Look at that, ew, right? Taking out the medicine cabinet and take out the medicine cabinet, paint this whole thing, patch it up, and even maybe do some wood shelves here. That would be really great, some wood shelves. Make sure that all the fixtures kind of match with each other. They're kind of, some are, some are um, brushed nickel, some of them are chrome, so we gotta make sure that they all really match. All right, that's the bathroom. Master, oh, okay. 
this is the master. Oh, cool. So two bathrooms, uh, two bedrooms with their bathrooms upstairs. This one obviously looks like the master. One of the suggestions that I would give would just be the same, um, would be finish out the, the, uh, the cabinets. So maybe even um, paint them, sand them down, paint them, repaint them. An espresso color, I wouldn't go white because of the countertop. They're not gonna change the countertop. But I would, again, take mirrors, change fixtures, have all the fixtures match. Like, look at this. Like, this is, this is not how you wanna show it. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is why I come over. <laughs> okay. Because they're not gonna do a full bathroom remodel or a full kitchen remodel, a lot of the things just need to be nice touch-ups. So again, hardware, nice clean or brand new hardware, and then any cabinets that have been um, they're a little distressed. It's gonna be nice to repaint them, refurbish them, um, if you're not looking to change them. So for example, the kitchen, that's exactly what I would say to do. Um, kitchen has these like espresso cabinets, right? And as you guys can tell, there's just a lot of wear and tear, a lot of wear and tear all around. So the sellers aren't looking to do a full kitchen remodel, um, but they are looking to make sure it's in nice condition for the next owner. Uh, when they put it on the market. So one of the things that I would suggest is to actually finish out the cabinets, kind of touch them up, less expensive than actually putting in brand new cabinets and we'll get you the most return on investment. Pantry, who doesn't love a pantry? Same thing, I would match exactly the color that we paint with all of the cabinets to the pantry door. Uh, another thing that I would add too was, I mean, recess lighting, you guys, Re seriously. They're all different. Some of them, as you can tell, some of them are um, like Audis and Innies, kind of like your belly buttons. <laughs> well, <laughs> I would just match them all. So all these four should match as well as the ones we saw upstairs because I noticed that as well about the recess lighting. Patio. All right. All right, seriously? So we can give them the option, um, we can give them the option of doing some, maybe some synthetic grass since it's not that much of an area. But what I would do all around where all the rocks are and all of these, um, all these little chips are, the little chips are kind of older. Uh, but you know, what would look really cute here is of course changing these cause these just gotta go. We change these and then um, put some pop of color, you know, so some cute succulents all around, clean this up, right? Uh, and then again, it, we could put some synthetic grass here that would look really, really nice. Um, otherwise, if he doesn't want to go with the synthetic grass, I'm okay leaving it as is, putting a nice little table out here, but just giving it some pop of color. Another thing that I would add is everybody wants privacy. So I can already tell that there was yeah, there was something here that was giving it privacy all throughout and it either fell or, oh, someone's playing good music. <laughs> okay, so I would actually do a lattice, probably about the same height, just all around, you know, and give it nice privacy. So I would do that. Uh, and then again, more succulents here. So yeah, not so bad. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, another pet peeve. So some of the things that we absolutely do for our clients when we're selling is, oh, that's just, just no, I don't even want to touch it. I think people really forget, like they really do, unless they have plants. And sometimes when they have plants, they just let them die. Okay, ready? Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh! All right, back to heel action. These are so comfortable too. Oh my God, I've been using them so much. Back to the heel action. All right, let's do this, done. It wasn't so bad in there, so the white shoes actually worked out. They're cool, Hans. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. That was actually not bad. I thought it was gonna be in, uh, in worse condition. That's not bad at all. Um, I have exactly, exactly the suggestions uh, I can give them to make sure they're getting the most return on investment. Go ahead, go, go, go ahead, you, you first. Now you've seen the before, so it'll be really interesting for you guys to see the after. Um, once all of the work is done, once staging is in, uh, and once it's ready to be photographed, shown to the world. Stay tuned. Love J. How can you not like J Balvin? Come on. That is. So one thing I didn't know is that sometimes I'm driving and I'll like turn it up really high, the volume. And apparently you could really hear the car. Like you could really hear the music. I didn't know that. Here I am like bumping to music sometimes, going into a listing appointment. It's like Spanish, I'm off. <laughs> and they're like, oh, you really like driving up with music, huh? 